Okay guys, this is Agricultural Simulator 2012 and through research that I've done and through the uh, advice that Stocko Gloss has given me and I'll uh, definitely refer you to his videos because he does a very good job with his agricultural videos so I'm gonna see if I can show you my farm here so like I say this is Agricultural 2012 and let's start off with just uh, exploring around the farm, seeing what we got. So, there is our uh, hay bale and straw bale uh, storage barn, along with our uh, manure uh, storage area right there. We have our silo, uh, silo silos right there where we can store crop and load our cedar if we do it ourselves we have some animal pens and chicken coop and rabbit barn we have the uh, spray area right there where we can change water into spray we have the water tower uh... let's see we have our home and the uh fuel storage tank so we can uh, fuel our tractors and over here we have our equipment barn where, we, where all of our equipment are stored so, let's take a look at So, let's take a look at our map now and see what we got going on there. So, let's see here. So, this is where we are right here. And this is kind of our farm. And this is the factory right there with its different uh, crops and prices. You'll notice on here, like say for wheat, it's $152 uh, per meter cubed. And then right after it, it has 200 meter cubed limit of how much you can sell there in one day. And down here we have the meal and what you can sell there at what prices. An A17 here, an A15 are the fields that we already own. So the way I like to start out my farm is by purchasing this big A22 field. So let's do that now. Okay, and as you can see it was fairly expensive, but I think we can make it do. So, the next thing we want to do, I like to do, is to get our animals going, because we need some manure for when we need to fertilize our fields. So, I know a bunch of you are going to say, oh, buy deer, buy rabbits. Yeah, I, I, I don't like to do that. It, it just kind of feels like cheating. What I like to do is get a uh, fairly decent dairy farm going. So, we're going to purchase 25 dairy cows per compartment here. And we're going to start off with four of them. And for those of you guys that uh, have been watching Stocko Gloss films and heard Night Angel Marine's uh, posts of how his farm's doing, and you're like, well, you're starting out from fresh. Uh, that is true. My game decided to crash the other day, not the computer itself, but the game. So I uh, have to start all over. Joy of joys. Okay, there's our four storage compartments with our 25 head each of cows, making a total of 100 cows. 
And because I know the funds are going to be a bit tight, we're not going to take care of them for a moment. So, I, I know that's ill-advised and probably not right, but we need to save money for other things. So, let's close our list now and go in and start purchasing our... Oh, hang on. We need a uh, fuel reservoir. So let's, let's purchase our fuel reservoir so we can... Uh, load or fuel our tractors and then I kinda like this Volterra tractor it's it's a good color it's cheap which we definitely need right now and it seems to do just as good as the others so let's let's buy this Volterra tractor here and then we need a plow so we go into extensions we go into plow we purchase a plow and then we need our Ewan. So let's purchase Mr. Ewan here. Yes, I want to purchase this item. And then we're going to stick him in the tractor. We're going to give him a plow. We're going to start him on a big field. And we're going to tell him, start. So, is our... So, there he goes. With... Ewan in our Volterra tractor with a plow. And yes, guys, I know I could uh, purchase another tractor, another plow, and start plowing myself, but it's, it's the, the, the area on this plow is just so small that I, 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 I can't do it. it. It drives me crazy. So I just uh, I have him go out, and I have him plow the fields, and then I, uh, yeah, I, I use a lot of you and help. I, I manure it, I spray it. I combine it myself, saves us a lot of money, and uh, but other than that, the, the plowing, the cultivating, the sowing, at least here during the beginning, while we have these bloody small uh, extensions, I, I just let him do it, because he's, he's a lot better at going in straight lines and getting the job done properly. And it, you know, it saves us money from not buying two tractors and two plows and all that, so... Anyway, oh, I've just realized I forgot to uh, upgrade his skills. Let's uh, let's uh, go ahead and do that now. Yes, guys, I know this is taking forever, but I, I want to show you, you know, just plowing the field here for just a second. So, if you want to, hang in there. We'll, we'll do a swipe down, then I'll turn the screen off, and I'll continue plowing by myself. And then you guys can tell me whether I should show the whole thing or show just a swath of it to show, you know, kind of what it looks like. Like I say, uh, you, you guys tell me what you want to see. Also, guys, while you're uh, telling me what you want to see on this film, 
po post some comments and stuff there on YouTube and let me know if you guys want to see some farming simulator. So, I, um, I've done quite a bit of work with it. Some people say way too much work with it. But uh, we'll, we'll see what you guys want. Like I say, if you want to uh, see some farming simulator of mine, just post some comments and I'll get that started too. Also, if you're watching Stocko, I give all credit to you. You're, you're the one that started me on for Agricultural Simulator. So, and you're posting your videos and taught me how to do it. So, I, I definitely got to give a shout out to you. Okay guys, I just realized that the reason Ewan is going so slowly for us is that I forgot to upgrade his skills until after he started this job. So, I'm going to uh, stop the worker as soon as he gets back up to the other end, send him back to the garage, and then we'll uh, have him go out and start on this field again.